Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is One Skill. In today's video I will show you how you can create these beautiful animated slides. Oh yes, I said it right, beautiful animated slides. If you would like to know how to create these slides yourself, then just keep on watching. That's good. Inspiration for today's video come from this awesome PowerPoint template called Space PowerPoint. It's really gorgeous PowerPoint template, please check it out, link is in the video description. As always, let's start by opening up a fresh blank new presentation. Please activate grid lines and guides, they will help us along the way to draw some shapes and let's make sure that objects snap to grid. Now let's insert a rectangle let's make it a little bit transparent and let's remove the outlines, we don't need lines. Ok, now what we have to do, we have to position this rectangle correctly so that there is equal spaces between the rectangle and the edges of the slide. So in this case I'm having 5 points at the left side and 5 points at the top. And I will do the same for the rest of the edges. And this way. And this way I will have a beautiful slide with some white frame. Now let's just copy this rectangle. Let's go to Slide Master. Let's select the first layout. Ctrl A to select everything. Delete everything. Now let's paste our blue rectangle. Choose Insert Placeholder. Paste Image Placeholder. Now Ctrl A to select everything. Go to Format, Shapes, Intersect. This way you have a beautiful picture placeholder. Now just right click, go to layout and select this layout that we just created. Beautiful, you're doing wonderful. Now let's just send that placeholder to back. Now let's keep on working with our rectangle. Now let's insert a new shape. Let's make it transparent as well. Let's even change the color so that we can see better what we are doing. And let's rotate it a little bit. We can actually cut it and paste it into our original presentation. So that we can get the exact rotation angle that we want. Okay, something like this. Beautiful. We can cut this object. Ctrl X and Ctrl V to paste into our presentation. Let's duplicate it and we will use this smaller object later on. Now let's do some magic, let's go to Merge Shapes and choose Intersect. And now we have chopped up our rectangle. And now let's work with this smaller piece. Let's paste it into our original presentation. Let's make sure that it has the same width as we need it. I just deselect the snapping because I don't need snapping anymore. Ok, beautiful. Paste it back into our slide. A few more adjustments so that it nicely touches this uh, blue shape. Ok. Now let me just cut off these edges at the top and at the bottom of this uh, rectangle. You can do that with the help of subtract, subtract function. Now let's do the same at the bottom. Beautiful. Now we just uh, duplicate this shape. We can change the color so that we can better see these two different shapes. And a few more simple adjustments to make sure that all of these three shapes are nicely touching each other. Beautiful. 
Okay, now let's select all of these three objects and send them to back so that we can access our image placeholder and now click on that image placeholder and choose your favorite photo in the world. In my case, it is this photo with some beautiful water and forest, a few houses. <laughs> Now let's deactivate those grid lines and guys we don't need those uh, things anymore. Let's send our photo to back and now we can start designing playing with the colors of these shapes. So the first big shape is white, it has transparency and for the rest of the shapes I will add a gradient from black to white with some transparency. So just uh, follow the video. Okay, and I will copy the style from this uh, first object to the second one. All I will do is just increase the transparency so this last shape is, you know, a little bit more subtle. Okay, so now that we're finished uh, designing the shapes, now we can insert some beautiful text boxes. So in this case I will put, you know, the name of the author of this beautiful photography. And this photo is from unsplash.com. Uh, link is in the video description if you're interested. Alexis Huertas, he's the man, he's the man who is responsible for this beautiful photography. Nice, well done Alexis, beautiful! Okay, now let's duplicate this text box and let's add a few more information boxes. For example, location of this photo. So this photo was taken in Peru. That's beautiful. Now let's insert views, how many views this photo got. So it's more than 68,000 views. Beautiful. And just for fun, let's insert camera model of this photo. You know, what kind of camera do you have to have in order to take such a beautiful photo? Okay, now let's position these text boxes a little bit downwards and let's make sure that the vertical spacing is wonderful. And now we can continue working with the right side of the slide. Let's duplicate this text box, make font white so that we can see what we're doing. And here, and here let's just copy the link of this photo so that everyone who wants to find this photo can do it easily. And let's position this text box somewhere at the bottom right corner of the slide. Beautiful! And now let's do this funny shape, this rectangle with this uh, plus sign. So all we have to do just insert a rectangle, make sure you are holding down the shift key to make it perfectly square. Now let's remove the fill and let's set the line to white color 
and set the width to five points, something like that. And make sure that transparency is somewhere around 70%. So it's, uh, you know, a little bit transparent. And now let's do this uh, plus sign. So all we have to do is just insert line, uh, make it white and make it five points width as well. So now it's fully, you know, it's not transparent, it's fully white. And now let's make this plus sign. Align both of these uh, lines to the middle and now you got yourself a beautiful plus sign. Let's copy this text box. Let's make the font white and let's insert the aperture of this photo. If you don't know what is aperture, well, I don't know as well. <laughs> Just Google. Well, I know it's uh, related to the photography, something like uh, how much light is coming into the camera or something like that. <laughs> So let's insert this aperture stuff and let's position everything nicely and voila, we are done with the designing of the slide. Now all we have to do is just duplicate the slide so that we have two identical slides and on the second slice make sure that transition is set to morph and morph will help us to do the animation part, okay? So on the second slide Let's uh, increase the size of the photo and this way I will demonstrate to you the power of the morph transition. So as you can see on the second slide, the photo is zoomed in and this is how it looks in action. Beautiful. So when you go from the first to the second slide, the photo background zooms in. That's beautiful. And now on the first slide, we will do some adjustments which will help us to do the animation. So basically I move all of the shapes and these uh, black text boxes to the left side of the screen this uh, small white text box i move to the right and for these arrows we can do something interesting we can move this one to the right this one to the top and this uh, box we can actually decrease it and set the transparency to fully transparent and now you will see what kind of effect we will get. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be look... <laughs> it will look beautiful. Okay. Let's check it out. Skadoosh. That's wonderful. That's truly wonderful. And sometimes I receive comments that I don't have morph, morph transition, what should I do? So yes, morph transition is um, only available in Office 365, but don't worry, there is a link in the video description, you can check it out. You know, the price of Office 365, it's not that uh, expensive. You can buy a yearly subscription. And now I will demonstrate to you how the rest of the slides were created. So in this case, you can see that it's like scrolling to the right side. And for this uh, last uh, slide, uh, the photo that I had is, as you can see, it's a portrait, portrait photo. And in this case, I can set in one slide the photo at the bottom. And on the second slide, I can set the same uh, photo, you know, to the top and we will get this nice uh, scrolling effect. So let me just demonstrate. Skadoosh, looking beautiful. Any huge thanks go to all of my Patreons who support me on patreon.com slash onescale. You, my dear people, are the most wonderful people in the world. Thank you very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. 
I hope it was useful for you and you learned a thing or two, so please leave a comment down below and let me know what I should do next time. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video.